I think the best way I can describe Northgard is a Civilization-esque RTS game, but with Vikings, and I am really, really pumped for it. So this game is hitting Steam Early Access, and I actually discovered it because someone on Twitter suggested like, hey, are you going to play Northgard like months ago? And I didn't know what it was, and then I started looking into it, I'm like, whoa, this, this looks fantastic, this looks great. So let's go ahead and jump into the single player. Uh, the campaign is going to open up for us uh, as we draw closer to release. Uh, my, I don't know why my, <laughs> my Viking clan's name is Drew Ferrickson. That's like the most famous Viking I know of, I guess. Uh, let's go with this green color because uh, I'm wearing green. And uh, I'm going to be explaining a few things, so I'm going to go on easy for now. But if you guys want to see me play more, uh, maybe I'll play on like a hard or something like that. Uh, at the moment, there are only three clans that we can choose from, but uh, these will be opening up, I think, with pretty soon. Um, I'm gonna go with, so they all have of course their own like little abilities. I'm gonna go with these like little, this little wolf pack here, the clan of the wolf, uh, because they get more powerful warriors. I'm not gonna go into their bonuses because I realize when I do that, when it comes to strategy games, nobody even knows what the game is like, so we're not gonna have to worry about that. Okay, so immediately we've got beautiful animation here. Uh, I've got these little, I guess they're technically Vikings, these little workers that are gonna go out there and start gathering up food for us. Um, so if we, I guess if we go over the UI, we've got happiness. Happiness allows us to continue to capture, or I guess continue to get new villagers. Uh, we can kind of look at the progress that we're making upon new villagers. Here's my food consumption. Uh, we've got a meter, so we've got to prepare for winter. Because when winter hits, we're not, you know, we're consuming more food. We There's no food to gather. Uh, we got to make sure that we have the resources up to kind of have a, a thriving village. Uh, apparently, the basis of this game is we've just found a new continent. And there are other uh, Vikings out there. And we have to destroy them. Because here are the victory conditions. This should be very kind of civilization-esque. There are four different types of victories. Uh, domination, of course. There's fame, trade, and wisdom. Um... So uh, let's go ahead and just jump into kind of some of the basic things that I need to start building. Uh, we need to get up, we need to get up more wood. That's, this is how we gather more wood. We're actually losing wood. Wood seems to be some of the most, one of the most important things. So uh, we're going to build that. We're going to see our little villager run over there and start building. I thought that was, I don't know, I really like the animation in this game. Looks, it looks really cool. Um, especially when they're fighting because, uh, you know, there's kind of like an RTS sort of uh, look to this game and when they're fighting, it's it's awesome. And you can also see like little guys bring in the food to the, the town hall. We can upgrade this building at some point when we have the resources. We do not have the resources at the moment. Uh, now, that's not the only building we need to get up. So we need to get that guy up. Uh, we need to assign a few... Uh, a few woodcutters, and this is how. Oh, it's not finished yet, Drew. So just, just wait. Uh, we need to also a scout. So scout does pretty much what we know, what a scout does. We're gonna have people discover the fog of war. We're gonna figure out what is going on back behind uh, these lands. Okay, so we need to assign a villager into uh, our woodcutter position. So uh, there you go. You are hired, sir. Boom. So this guy's gonna run over there. He's gonna get on his equipment. And he's gonna go out there and start. Uh, he's gonna go out there and start chopping wood. That is so cool. He even grew a little beard too. He's got like an orange beard, which, by the way, I have an orange beard too. So I feel like I would be a woodcutter if I was. I don't know what where that came from, but whatever. Okay. So the scout building is finished too. Again, we have to assign basic villagers who are normally just gathering food uh, to to be the new scout. So this guy's gonna run over here. He's gonna become a scout, and we're gonna actually see more behind uh, the fog of war. So yeah, we're gathering up gathering up wood now faster. Uh, we can hire more than just one scout. So right now, I think both of these buildings have only two available professions. People only only two villagers can work there at one time, unless we upgrade it. If we upgrade it, um, sometimes you get more that can be in that profession. Sometimes they just get better abilities. So these scouts can scout at 20% the speed. So you can kind of see he's just like staring as hard as he can <laughs> at the darkness, and, and we're just figuring things out. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty pretty cool. It's 800 AD. It's June, and you can see winter is approaching. So we need to get ready for this. Uh, and we also need to find the other Vikings because uh, I'd like to just go ahead and kill them all. That'd be fun. Okay, so we need to get our stuff together because, uh, as you can see, my population is five of a, uh, five out of five. And uh, we also unlocked more land. So in order to uh, continue to grow our village, we need a house. So I'm going to go ahead and put a house back here. Yep, see, they just got mad because, uh, because we can't get more villagers, and that's really, really important. Okay, so we now have access to this land. Now, this is kind of a very important aspect of... Uh, so we can buy each tile by... Uh, I guess offering food, 
I'm guessing these, this is like the food that it takes for us to colonize and make it over there or something like that. But uh, the resources are really important that I didn't pay attention to when I initially started playing this game. It's like, oh, you don't want to just, you know, we want to keep in mind that not every tile is the same. So in this tile, we have uh, three building slots. There is two possible neat meat. Uh, as you can see, there's a little deer running around. Actually, there's all sorts of animals in this game. And uh, we'll get stone if we get out a mining building. So I'm going to colonize this. Um, I'll probably colonize this too at the same time. Let's go ahead and do it. So I'm wasting food, but that's okay. Uh, it's raining now, which is interesting. I'm not sure exactly what sort of penalties or or what kind of bonuses the the rain provides if we uh, if we go to war right now. Uh, you can also see this very scary looking dude. Now we don't want to take that guy on because uh, I know that in this tile there are multiple looking dudes that look like that, and they will kick my butt if I'm not ready. Okay, so the house has been built. Um, we can, you know, almost all the buildings are upgradable after we upgrade our town hall, which is this nice looking structure right here. Um, so if I were to upgrade it, we can get two additional clan members into the village. But uh, I think for now we are, we're totally fine. So the scout is doing work. I love it. Um, so in this tile, you know, not as good of a tile. We have only access to two building slots and then two meat. So we want to get out like a hunting a village hunting building at some point. There's a couple other things that I can build. Now, I haven't gotten to te technology just yet. I probably should. We are still a ways away. Lore is basically uh, the word used for research. Now, as this clan, we automatically start off with a uh, weapon ship. So our uh, our military units are going to attack with, uh, I guess, 20% more power than, than normal. And uh, we get to kind of go down these, these trees and, and figure stuff out about our... I mean, it, it's kind of it's kind of cool because it makes you... You can uniquely... Uh, gear your your clan to uh, to kind of run a certain way, which is which is fun. Okay, so I'm gonna go with the training camp because we want to start getting out an army. Um, I'd actually like to build you out here. I'm gonna build this guy out here, and uh, we need to force a villager to come out here and start building. So he's gonna run out here. He's gonna do his thing. We're gonna reveal a few uh, scary. I mean, they're not. I mean, if we're looking at this as like a civilization game. We're looking at these guys as like barbarians. They uh, they restrict our expansion early on. Uh, as you can see, there's a wolf out here. The wolves are a little bit easier to take on than uh, the the big scary skeletons that are going on over this way. Yep, and there they are. Uh, those sheep also provide resources. So if you have one sheep in uh, one area, it will reduce the need for firewood firewood uh, by 20%. And uh, and new tiles sometimes offer like things like this. So uh, this is called the Circle of Stone. Allows to recruit lore masters. Lore masters will produce 50%. So there are different like I don't want to call them natural wonders, but there are different um, wonders. I guess we'll just call them wonders uh, on some tiles that will allow my my village to get to get better. Okay, so I believe I can colonize this area too. Yeah. So this has uh, three building slots open, two meat, two stone. Now what I'm looking for is iron. How did, I've had a little bit tough. It's it's a little bit tough to, to get iron in this game because uh, we don't start off in a location that gives uh, iron early on. Okay, so I need to keep on building, Drew. Okay, so what else have I not covered though? Uh, we have a scout. We've got a woodcutter. I usually like to get two woodcutters because they're so important. But um, at the same time, let's go ahead and hire a few dudes to be in our in our army. So uh, yeah, we have to assign some villagers. I'd like to sign a few. Assign a few here. At least two. Let's go with two. Let's start off with two for now. There's my scout coming back with his... Oh, he's got kind of a little Frodo cape going on. I like it. I, I like it, yes. Like the fellowship. Okay, so we have tiles out here. Now, I know that we will see aggression from uh, from one of these baddies, from one of these tiles. They're going to come in here and try to take us out. Uh, it might be a good idea to also build a defense tower, which I can't just jet. I need 100 wood. Okay, well, first of all, we should probably be gathering up more wood. So I'm going to assign a second woodcutter so we can go into this forest and start gathering up more resources. We might be able to, uh, and I can always pretty much fire that person and make him a basic villager if I, if I need to. Uh, are we doing good with population? We're doing okay. We probably want to build another house, though, before anything else. Okay, so let's go ahead and do another house. Uh, let's build a house over here. Wait a second, if I build a house here, then that's going to be a building, a pretty important building slot. Okay, so I'm going to do this here, and then we'll have to upgrade those houses because uh, I don't want to waste one of our uh, one of our slots on just a regular old house. Who wants to do that? I don't want to do that. Okay, so how are we doing? We're doing good. Here are my warriors. So I can click on my training cap, and eventually I can hire a, uh, a war band, I guess. This is a war chief. Oh, I guess I should have said a war chief. 
um, are experienced units who bring their strength and leadership to bear in combat. So we want to do that. Uh, however, I need iron, and uh, I'm not sure if we have access to iron anytime soon. Ooh. Ooh, this tile over here gives us lore, which is basically research, and uh, two building slots, and it has a ruin inside of it. Treasures are waiting. Oh boy. Okay, so here comes the winter. Uh, this is this is gonna get pretty real. So we're gonna just see a lot of food consumption go down. I haven't talked about the uh, organize a feast just yet. That might be a good idea to to do right after winter. But um, yeah, I can spend a hundred food which is pretty easy to come by the food, depending on how many villages I have at one point, uh, in order to get plus two and... plus two what? Gives plus two and 20% bonus to all production for uh, one month. And we get some fame out of it. Good. Nice. And fame is part of uh, the victory type here. We've got this victory type fame, which we need to keep in mind. Okay, so we've got two warriors. I'd like a third, to be honest. So I'm going to go ahead now. You know, I don't really think we're gathering up that much food. We're probably going to start to uh, consume more than we're gathering, but that's okay because I do not feel comfortable chilling here with only three military units because I know one of these wolves or uh, one of these skeletons are going to attack. And actually, I'd like to show off some of our own attack. Because I'm this clan, we get to, we, you know, we're, we're hitting a little bit harder, so uh, we should be able to take on probably not these guys. How many are there? There's two, right? I think there's only two, but oh no, there's a third one. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so there's a third one over here. I don't think I want to take them on. Um, how much population do I have? I've got 11 of 15. Okay, let's go ahead and show off some combat. Yeah, let's go ahead and show, show off some combat. So I'm going to right click to select all and uh, we're going to go in here and uh, attack. Oh, wait. I want I want all of you guys to attack. Uh, no, Drew's, Drew didn't make that the, maybe the correct... Yeah, Drew didn't. Drew kind of messed that up a little bit there. We at least lost one warrior. I mean, we'll get him back. Come on, you got it, guys. You got it. Get your, get your head in the game. Get your head in the... Oh, there's still two more left. This was... We've just got destroyed. We got utterly destroyed. But that's okay. Uh, because it's not like I was going to have... Uh, yeah, so we're going to go in there and uh, we're gonna, I'm going to get two more two more warriors. And we should be able to defeat the wolves this time around. There's only two left. Hopefully. Now, if Drew doesn't mess up, then he, he should be able to. Okay, hold on. There's the second one. I'm going to select all this time. Maybe I didn't have them select at all. No. Maybe I have to uh, try a different tactic here, but uh, who knows? I don't know. Right clicking. I don't want to send one into battle. At, yeah, okay, come on. At least keep him alive. At least kill this last wolf. Okay, very nice. So uh, they don't heal automatically. We actually have to build a building in order for them to heal, a healer's hut. Um, that's pretty important. Let's see, I've got 131 wood. Man, I need to upgrade. Because uh, I'm still not getting enough enough wood cutters. Okay, so anyways, now that we have uh, grabbed this area, do I want to take the risk and colonize? Let's go ahead and do it. So I'm going to colonize this new region. And uh, it's going to spend 120 food or something like that. During the winter, probably not the smartest of ideas, but it's okay because winter is over. So it's 801 AD. Uh, we actually have access to go after some lore now. So I'm going to continue down this middle path since... Oh, you know what? I love that. Your woodcutters will produce 15% 15 more wood. Your warband no longer has reduced power when fighting outside of territory. That would be good. Um, these crones, crowns, I guess, are uh, little things that we need are used to recruit your warband and uh, for building up upkeep and things like that. Okay, you know what? I am going to go with sharper axes or sharp axes because uh, I, I love getting more wood resources. And uh, there's, there's a trade building, which when we eventually meet... A new clan which I believe there's one over here somewhere then uh, then we'll get up a trade building and we'll we'll send out a trader and you know kind of gather up some resources and things like that okay so is everything good everything is good now we're not ready to take on these dudes in the middle those guys are too hardcore uh, what's over here these are wolves right yeah it looks like there's only one though if there's only one then that's not bad we can probably take them on after of course after we heal these guys up or because that's gonna be a disaster <laughs> If I don't heal these guys up. Um, okay, so I'm going to keep my scout doing his scouting thing. Uh, let's, should we show off the organized feast? Yeah, I guess that's fine. Boom. Let's go ahead and do it. So we're going to do a feast. Everyone's going to be working harder, being more productive. Um, when can I upgrade this? Okay, so we need to mine, start gathering up more stone. We'll eventually get this soon enough from the town hall and the feast bonus. Oh, nice. That's cool. Uh, okay, so let's start mining. Let's build a mine. So how about let's uh, build a mine. Oh, wait a second. 
if I if I were to build it here We are gonna get stone here, too. Okay. Well either way so the mine eventually runs out after you uh, After you gather up all the resources Wasn't there something that I got in here or no? No, that's just a big old stone pile. Okay, so there we go. We've got that uh, Let's also build a healer's hut or else we're gonna get yeah totally wrecked here. So I'm gonna do a healer's hut a um, our military training camp, and then I'll probably do a defense building too at some point. Oh man, that costs a ton of these little crown thingies. Okay, so here it comes. It's raining again. Have we met anybody just yet? No, our scout is still working hard. Ooh, who is this? That's not our scout, is it? Uh-oh. No, that's somebody. Oh, that's an enemy scout. Uh-oh. Okay, so they're going to find where we are. We're going to see a new Viking clan here. That's kind of scary. Uh, oh, I need to assign somebody to get over here. Okay, so you come over here and uh, and you come and build that. Same goes for somebody right here. While the wait, are we still doing a uh, a feast? I think our feast is done. Okay, so we're under attack. The wolves are attacking. How many wolves are attacking? It looks like just one. So if we sit here and don't do anything, our scout was hurt. Okay, so our scout was hurt. Uh, I am going to get one more warrior just in case. So hopefully someone runs out over here on time because I know that like one warrior is gonna come out there and he's gonna die <laughs> He's not gonna go so it's not gonna do so well so well Okay, so bam um, Yeah, I want all you guys and Hopefully that works I'm hoping I hope I don't mess that up again and construction of quarry is completed. Nice. Okay, so yeah, they're all coming. I think they're all coming. Okay, here we go. Come on, baby. You got to It's only one wolf. That's not too bad. Oh, these guys are fresh too. We're fine. Okay, so we've defended our, our region, uh, luckily, but uh, we'll have to face some much, much stronger enemies next time around. Okay, so these guys have nothing to do. Perfect. So you know, what? if you have nothing to do, then I'm gonna sign you right there. Uh, I guess you can be our healer. That little icon shows them that that they're just kind of chilling, not really doing much. Um, okay, so we've got a healer now and a miner. The miner is going to go out here and gather us some stone, which is nice. Um, and uh, that is going to... Oh, we need another another house. Okay, so I'm going to go with another house. We've established contact with... Uh, who is this? Eric? Aaron? It's not Drew Fer Ferrickson. Okay, Drew Ferrickson is the best name ever, so I'm just going to say that right now. Ooh, what are you guys doing? Oh, they're starting to farm. Oh, they're starting to farm and they've got a quarry going. We've got some fields. Okay, so anyways, that is a brief look at uh, Northgard, and uh, I am, again, I'm really excited for this. This is a pretty, I've had a, I've had a lot of fun. Um, oh, they've got some resources over here. They've got wheat and stone on those tiles. Man, lucky. We don't have that. We probably should get up a hunting, a hunting lodge so we can go after more food, but uh, anyways, guys, thank you for watching. So the best way to let me know if you like this game, if you want to see more, uh, just hit that like button. That's the best way I can just kind of value out uh, the numbers of people that uh, kind of enjoy uh, Northgard, which I am really loving right now. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll be back for at least another part two or three, and, uh, and we'll see what happens to my empire. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.